Hello everyone, welcome to class today. Remember this is module 2 of the Upper Basic Mathematics MSI EduTech online home lesson. In our first lesson we learned the order of operations, board mass, indices. Today we're going to be talking about open sentences. Open sentences. In open sentences, it has to do with interpretation of word problems interpretation of word problems the interpretation you give to a particular problem the term means the solution that would be given to it okay so there could be addition multiplication subtraction or division in open sentences questions Let's take some examples. In example one, X minus two thousand six hundred and thirty five equals to 3469 looking at this question we are looking for x so we need x to stand alone in this case s is not standing alone what do we need to do we need to move 2635 it's carrying a negative sign a minus sign so we need to add 2635 to both sides Whatever you do to one side, do to, to the, you have to do to the other side to make it balance. Just like a seesaw, you need to balance it. So, we do this. Hard 2,635 to both sides. It becomes X minus 2,635 plus 2,635 equals to 3,469 plus... 2,635 minus 2,635 crosses out plus 2,635 so we are left with S X becomes 3,469 plus 2,635 3,469 plus 2,635 9 plus 5, 14 Write 4 and lift 1 1 plus 6, 7 7 plus 3, 10 Write 0 and lift 1 1 plus 4, 5 5 plus 6, 11 Write 1 and lift 1 1 plus one, 3, 4 4 plus 2, 6 So our answer becomes 6,104 6,104. Let's go to the second example. In this case, what we have done is addition. In the second question, we have 229 plus G equals to 412. 229 plus G equals to 412. We are looking for G, so we need to look for a way to take off 229. 229 is carrying an invisible plus sign addition sign here so we need to take away 229 from both sides to allow g which we are looking for to stand alone so subtract subtract 229 from both sides so 229 minus 229 plus g equals to 412 minus 229 now 229 minus 229 is zero so we have plus g left so g equals to 
412 minus 229. 412 minus 229 becomes 2 minus 9. We need to borrow one from here. Here is left with 0, 12. 12 minus 9, 3. The 0, borrow one from 4, making 3. Here becomes 10. 10 minus 2, 8. 3 minus 2, 1. So the answer becomes 183. So we have subtracted from this open sentence. Now let's go to the next example. 4x equals to 2 whole number 2 over 5. 4x equals to 2 whole number 2 over 5. We are looking for x. S. But before then, we need to work on this mixed fraction. 4s equals to 2 times 5 plus 2 all over 5. 4s equals to 2 times 5, 10 plus 2, 12, 12 over 5. So we've gotten 4s equals to 12 over 5. Now, we need s to be alone. So what do we what do we have to do here for s to stand alone we need to divide both sides by four for s to stand alone so 4x 4s divided by four what we are doing is we divide both sides by four 4s divided by 4 will give us 12 over 5 divided by 4. Now, this becomes 4s divided by 4 equals to 12 over 5. Now, this is a, lot, this is a bigger division sign. This becomes times 4 over 1. Sorry, times 1 over 4. This is 4 over 1. By the time this division sign is inversed, we take the inverse of this division sign, 4, it becomes 1 over 4. So, 4 crosses out 4 here. We have S standing alone. And then S is equal to 12 over 5 times 1 over 4. Now, 4 can cancel out 4 to in one, one time. And then 4 here, 3. So, s is 3 over 5. now we can check if our answer is correct the question from here 4s equals to 12 over 5. if s is actually 3 over 5 it implies that 4 times 3 over 5 gives us 12 over 5. so 4 times 3 is 12 12 over 5 equals to 12 over 5 so we are correct the last example, 19x equals to 285. 19x equals to 285. We are looking for 19. Sorry, we are looking for s. Now, x. We need x to stand alone, but there is a 19 standing with x. So we need to do something to take away this 19. What do we do? We need to divide both sides by 19. So, 19x equals to 285. So divide both sides, divide both sides. So 19x all over 19 gives us 285 all over 19. 19 crosses out 19, so we are left with x. x equals to 285 divided by 19. Come to our division, 285 divided by 19. How many 19 can we get in 2? None. How many 19 can we get in 28? 1. So, I place a 1 above 8. 19 times 1 is 19. I need to subtract 19 from 28. 8 take away 9. I need to borrow. Remain the 1 here. And then I have 18. 18 take away 9 is 9. 1 take away 1 is 0. Now I bring down this 5, becoming 95. How many 19 can I get in 95? It's 5. So, 19 times 5 is 95. 95 take away 95 is 0. So, 285 divided by 19 is 15. So, our final answer is 15. Remember, in open sentences, the interpretation you give to the question determines the solution you will prefer. Now, 
I'll give you some tasks to do on your own. The questions are U minus 6.9 equals to 2.81. Number 2, H minus 3 or number 3 over 4 equals to 6 or number 2 over 3. Number 3, 2P equals to 5 over 6. And number 4, 0.01X equals to 14. I'll be glad you are able to solve those questions. If you have any challenge, please give us a feedback through the WhatsApp number displayed on your screen. Thank you. Meet you at the next lesson.